His contradictions alone are amazing, right? Either I am attractive enough to be a slut prostitute or nobody wants me. And the fact that Angelin not only married Bruce, but then married him would seem to say to me that even if you're batshit crazy, I would have a boyfriend by now if that's the case. If I was such a prostitute slut, I would have a steady boyfriend by now because even Angelin at her wacko list had guys marrying her. I'm not out. I'm not gay. I'd have a girlfriend then, wouldn't I? Jesus, criminy. There's plenty of gay women. Not to mention, a woman might see my worth a lot quicker than a guy. Guys aren't the only ones cut down to size. Yeah, bat shit crazy. He took her back and married her. And since when is bipolar? Apparently they need to, I said they need to move capital punishment away from the actual murderers and apply it to people with bipolar because they're the real menaces to society. I've gotten in no trouble in the last two years despite a steady attempt to antagonize and provoke me. And yet I'm still being punished for a supposed disease that I do not have. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a normal reaction to trauma. <laughs> Mm. Mm. He said, hey, you picked the wrong woman, the wrong woman to make an example of. I guarantee you, you picked the wrong woman. I have never been in trouble my whole life. My children are everything, and I still work my butt off. I'm smart. I'm beautiful. And this is wrong. This is wrong. I am a freaking bipolar. I'm not. Why don't they tell me what moods am I on? I'm not allowed to have any moods. That's ridiculous. When I see the names of the children who've been stolen from me, I'm not supposed to react. To hell with you people. Take your own diagnosis and shove it up your ass. To hell with you. I don't believe Eric. You were fine. I believe him. And I still want a divorce. How's that? Is that good enough? Punish me for not believing him. Unbelievable. You give me the definite of torture. I don't know what it does. You either believe him or we'll rip your children out of your life. <laughs> My children, not even the focus. And then I think that last freaking hearing was just to, 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 to be telling him I want money. And then he didn't want to admit that he'd already had Angel sign his IRA papers. He didn't want to admit he'd already forged the documents. So instead they have me, oh, we don't care about that, do we? No, I don't. I want to see my babies, you son of a bitch. How dare you all concern, like, oh, well, we don't care about money, right? And then turn on me. Because you don't want to take responsibility for the trauma you've caused me. So you call me a drug addict. How dare you? How dare you? There was no reason for the treatment I'd received, and I was done. He's already coming up with his next freaking accusations. Unbelievable. My daughter became a teenager without me. <laughs> the only thing I did wrong was try to protect them. And I uh, ended a marriage that was already falling apart. He'd already threatened to leave me and tried to save it. I go into counseling where he dominated my counseling. All about control. And I refuse. I refuse. I was raised as a woman in the United States of America, Washington State. I was not taught to bow down. And I guarantee some of the bitches won't teach me it now. I'll freaking lay it right back at you. I'm not gonna lay down and die. Son of a bitch. I gotta freaking give my mom that. She taught me to be a strong fucking woman. Even though she was raped at four years old and her parents blamed her for unlocking the door because they were in a bar while she raped at four. You know, we don't give her no credit for that. Absolutely not. Just say she was crazy. I can't say why. Only because she was a bitch. So what? 
I think she had every freaking right to be. And, and I don't think she was enough of one based on what the frick's happening to me now. I think that's why my kid punishes me, because I'm too freaking nice, because I should have bullied my kids. Babysits my granddaughter. My granddaughter knows her better than she knows me, but she can't supervise the visits. She can go over there for Halloween and party with Eric, but she can't supervise the visits. She talks to my daughter every day, but she can't supervise the visits. And his illness says that because you people do this, that it's okay. And I, and I rate, I'm furious, it's not okay, it's not right, and it's wrong, and it should stop now, not tomorrow, not next week, now. <laughs> Big mouth, and they're talking about Ellie and Gonzalez, and how giving back to his father don't matter if he's happy. No matter, they love me, we loved each other, we were happy with each other. The fact that I've been given one chance, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. What a ridiculousness. Ridiculous that you let him use a 20-year-old custody argument that was used by adoptive families for babies. Not for teenagers, for babies. When they said, oh, you know, well, they haven't seen one this long, and blah, blah, blah. That was for babies. You can't get me back the two years you take the two years two years two years You let it be a month I did go to college, I do know how to critically think. I provided the timelines, the opportunities the motives, I provided it all. They just don't want to hear it. What are you? Maybe you're you person. Army. This is um, like technology for um Detecting cell activity or something. So please help me, please. Please help me, God. You gotta know I'm telling you. Really smart, maybe they can find a way out. 
Tower. Crimson Gate. <laughs> Have you guys been watching me? They are. brought Robert and David back. Robert and David were actually asking for a foster home. They said there was no food. And her mom was on drugs. No, see that there's the thing. She was on drugs. She didn't pay her bills. She didn't have food in the house. <laughs> Nothing. No. She never said that she loved them. She missed them. <laughs> and they brought him back. They dropped him off. And that's when Eric was there. Oh yeah, Mr. Uh, Father of the Year. They were sneaking out with knives on their bikes. He claims he was there to get her off of drugs, and that's bullcrap because it was still on it when we got together several years later. Once again, a hypocrite. I always took care of my kids. Him and Angel, not so much. I always figured she'd send him to school for ba daycare. Instead, she was afraid that they would tell on her at school. <coughs> it's the same thing. Eric's afraid of that. I'm sure my kids have been 
punished with lots of pain to let it be known if you tell at school. <coughs> but they don't know the stuff about him, right? Because they won't listen to me because you become a non-person. Xavier. Xavier. Cabbage Patch Kid. Doll. She's the one who's been nuts. Look, I love my doll. She didn't apparently even love her doll. Sick, twisted, selfish, greedy maniac. And she's proven it. Unlike me, who's had a household and ran a company and uh, my kids had good grades, go to school, all that crap. No, she didn't do none of that. None of that. She was living in, in a storage locker when her mom died. Yeah, I'm sure Morton, there has to be, she has to be well known to Morton by now. He's mentioned her name and anybody normal around there will go, oh, jeez. Only, they'll not be, oh, jeez, I heard it through the neighborhood. It'll be, oh, jeez, I saw her. I'm not running around pounding on neighbors' doors saying Eric raped the kids. I'm saying Eric raped the kids because he played games like rape games. Because he married somebody like Angel Lynn. Because I saw my kids. Uh, no more. Jessica not being able to walk. Because he's sick. My son originally with the sharded underwear. You sick son of a You sick son of a bitch. And that's why he hides from me. Big bad boxer, big bad, oh, I kick everybody's butt with one freaking punch, knock cabinets out the other end of the wall, can't face this 40-year-old wife.